We've had such a productive morning. It's actually 3.30. We've been killing it. We got up at what, 7 o'clock? Yeah. Got up at 7. I ran 6 miles. All the productivity and happiness just got followed up with a grand finale of accident. It's okay. I ran 30 miles this week, so I had to do 6 this morning to finish it off. It was a rough 6 because the first 3 miles, I got up there at 7.30. The sun wasn't quite up, so it was cool, but then my last 3 miles, the sun was beaten. And then we like did dishes, laundry, cleaned, podcast. recorded a podcast, edited a podcast, vlog. posted a podcast, edited a vlog, posted a vlog, cleaned both bathrooms, deep cleaned. Um, we did a bunch of stuff. Laundry. Laundry. So now we're about. Hang ups and. Had breakfast, both. had lunch. And as I was cleaning up, because I didn't want to waste any of the coffee that Chelsea's mom gave us for Easter, this awesome. Peru Dark Scribbles Coffee from Kent, Ohio, so shout out if you're from Kent. I didn't want to waste any, so I made iced coffee to go. And uh, I went to go move the coffee maker back. And our, my favorite thing in the entire world when it comes to like, what we were getting when it came to like, saving items for our house, like our apartment, was this cute ceramic like Walt Disney World. Me. Okay, so listen. Salt and pepper, Sarah and Peter, S and P. Like so, we've always been like, our like TikTok we're at our wedding with salt and pepper shakers. So like, that is one part. Well, then it's Mickey and Minnie, and then they're in a car, which oh, is like our Route 66. A red road car. Trip. So it was like salt and pepper, so Mickey and Minnie, Route 66 I road trip. We still have it in the car, so we can just buy a new one. It's just something. It's just a thing. I know you're right, but we were about to leave, but I gotta pull this out now and sweep that up because Eve like literally took a piece of Minnie's like face ceramic face and ran away with it and I had to go get her. She's been so good today. Yeah. She's ready for a nap though. She'll nap when we leave. Look at this perfect little pooch. Oh, I'm talking about you. We got a situation in our hands that we have to deal with first. It's raining again. And I, I think, we're not even positive, but we think the ponchos are in the trunk. Mission, get ponchos without getting wet. Sing that song again, please. Found glasses and a raincoat. It's also hot. So I got like a weird mix going on right now. We got ponchos, we got sunglasses, we got humidity and heat. I think Florida's be welcoming slowly its natural state back to life. Chelsea told us the other day that like this weekend the humidity is coming back and it's here to stay. So. Did we mention where we're going? Oh, no. If you know by this tram, we are going to Magic Kingdom. The flowers on these trees have bloomed. How wonderful is that? I'm going to grab a fuel rod because Sarah's phone's already at 20%. She's on to the washroom and we're actually, we might do something new, newer, or we might do something that we haven't done in a long, long time. We're gonna pick up some um, Sorcerers of the Kingdom cards. All right, so the fire station is actually the secret recruitment center for the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. Shield this land from danger. Learn magic spells to fight the forces of evil. We're gonna go on down there and get set up with some cards in the game. Now make one of your spell cards and hold it face up to the form. Man, so the front of that spell to Master Merlin. Congratulations, you cast him. Ma'am, were you given Pumba stick bugs? Yeah. <laughs> At the end of every adventure, you'll be sent to your next missing portal. In this case, you're going to be going to Fantasyland to the Frog Symbol. Ooh, oh. perfect. This will be located right here. Here's Cinderella Castle, and here's the carousel. Perfect. One. Thank you so much, Robert. So you get this cool map of Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. You got to go around there and save it. But every day that you come here, oh, we got different ones. Oh yeah. 
Every time you go to get, ooh, every time you go to get a pack of cards, I think there's a, you're guaranteed at least a new, a different pack every day. Yeah. I'm not sure. Believe yeah, this, I, I got the blue get a fairy. New pack every time, yeah. You can come in. Sugar plum fairies. These are super cool. I just like how they look like the artsy fartsiness. Yeah. Lightning McQueen. So they each have like their own values and powers and stuff. And you just like hold them up. We're gonna go do at least one round before we go see what we wanna do. Yeah. And what'd you get, sir? Um, I got Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Snow White House Cleaning. Rapunzel's Whip. We both got Flowers Flowers. And Puma's Odor and Gas. Ooh. Ooh. So basically, you go to the fire department where we had just shown you. They kind of give you a lesson on how to um, to use the cards and the spells, and obviously the different powers will be more effective on different villains. I think you battle nine different villains. You say nine. You go to the nine realms. Battle nine realms, um, and I think it. I mean, I don't know if you ever if there's actually like an end time. Do you know that? No. Like yeah, you could I mean, leave and like, come back a different day or right, different and vacation. Right. right back up. Um, actually, we want to thank Tyler for like this spurring our, our, like being back in our memory because Tyler actually collects the different cards, whereas like we've never really gotten into it. So we are thinking about it, like, hey, let's try it out. And I mean, let's go to the first one and see. Yeah, we'll it's show in the, you. It's at the frog station. It's kind of like the pirate thing, but like more, the entire. More the entire kingdom and more like digital screens. And you can keep replaying it and collect more pieces yeah. and stuff. Because these are all random. seen him out in about like a handful of times. It's yeah. super weird. So we found ourselves back at the big top for some free sweet smells. I wanna go see what they're making. But but look at all the cake pops. They look so good and they're making more over here. Oh so delicious looking. They do. Look at that. I just want that without the covering, and I want that like that, and I want that like that, and that like that. Uh oh, uh oh. Casey Jr. is about to blow his gasket. You can do it, Casey Jr. So we were just like, that was super nice in there because we always watch the people make candy. We just really appreciate like those cake pops and Rice Krispie treats and, and all the baked goods are so expensive, but. I don't think people realize they're handmade. Yeah. Each individual one. You can watch and they're like do every little set. So we, we always like to watch on Main Street and in Big Top. So like appreciate it and so but they I feel like they feel like they're like on display every day so they don't like to talk to people. Yeah. Usually but they just both those cast members just talk to us and it was a lot yeah. of cool, a lot of fun. The one's like I'm going to Chicago for a concert. Yeah. Pizza, and I guess in Alabama there's a gas station. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Oh which sounds God. delicious. We yeah. should stop in Alabama when we drive back in June. Actually, if you go a different way, like not our usual, like Georgia, that aren't our usual. Part of me wants to like add a day to our driving trip in June to Chicago and like stop at places. Maybe on our way home? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. But well, we're gonna go to tomorrow and maybe do people mover. Just enjoy this little stroll. We we saw online there's a new uh, walking path to yeah. Tron. Ooh, you can see some of those. Oh yeah, look at the filler and all the flat land. It's gonna be big over there. It's just, it is astonishing. There's cast members walking the railroad track. Mm -hmm. It's just like, I'm still not over the fact that there's gonna be a, an attraction on that side of the berm yeah. or the railroad track. It'll be the first one ever. And it'll be interesting because like, 
you're, you're still in Star Oak Circus, but you're gonna be able to see it. Who knows if you'll still be able to right. see it though? So like, I wonder what what kind of like transitional theming they'll do. So there's the exit for Space Mountain, and here's this super crazy walkway. I wonder if that'll be guest or if that'll be cast member again because they've got that cast member path. Those cast members are clearing trees by the way for the train. But I wonder if that'll be the path you take over to Tron because Tron's going to be over there. Very interesting. It seems like a small path but then again it might be like tucked away kind of a feel. Carousel of Progress. Oh, you're in for a real treat. Yes, sir. We've got everything we need to make life easier. It's a dream come true for you and me. Don't worry, Dad. Someday everything's gonna be so automated you won't ever have to cook another Christmas turkey again. So when we said it was nap time, it quite literally was. I full on slept through the first two rooms, like heavy deep sleep, but woke up at the end of the room. Sarah slept through pretty much the whole thing. No, I watched the whole last. Oh. But she kept waking up to get like snippets of footage. But I feel good, like I'm worried she got too sleepy from sleeping. I got like the perfect amount of rest in that yeah, ride. Like, you know. We'll wake up because we're about to go on. Buzz Lightyear! In just a moment, my friend Buzz. In just a moment, we will be glad to hear us together. Sarah, she'll be like a cadet. You'll do good. I don't know if you. It's fresh ships out of the maintenance bay, ready for us to go. I didn't make it. So close. Sir. We just saw a suspicious looking Frontierland cast member that we haven't seen many times in our life. So, you know what that means? We're suspicious. Here comes another. Here comes more. We're suspicious of a hoedown. Now we should, oh, and they just lowered, they just took down those bars for, hey, for characters to come out. Who's coming out? I love how all these cast members are entertainment cast members, but in Frontierland costumes, and all the guests stop them, ask them questions, even though typically they don't work guest facing. They've been doing good though. Yeah, they, they don't typically do like guest facing situations. After nine months of living here, Sarah's dreams finally come true. We leave, uh, what is this place called? Prairie Outpost. Prairie Outpost, and she got herself a free sample. A free sample. Oh, we got Big Al. We got Brer Bear. Look at that, yeah. Big Al or Big Al's. It's about to go down in three, two, one. Get closer. Yeah, right <laughs> okay, so we're doing a live stream. You guys are gonna be in the vlog, doing a live stream on Facebook. Sarah's gonna talk to them while I go. So all while we're doing this, Big Thunder Mountain got shut down, but there are guests on the train right there going to get evacuated and they will get some fast passes for their troubles. I think we have to end our live stream. I just dropped my phone down. Oh, oh wait, one of the cheerleaders is going to go get it. Okay. I got you. Cheerleaders saved the day. We're so happy you're here. Thank you so much. She saved the day. 
Sarah's gonna, so it's the second incident with Sarah's cell phone in the past week. What else happened? You left it at, uh, oh, yeah. you left it at Test Track. A little update, we had a really fun Facebook live stream. That got shut down because of the rain. The boring rain. Um, and then I decided to evacuate to the closest place, which was, ended up being a smoking section, so that wasn't cool. Because we're not smokers, so we were just like stuck in golf and smoke. And I was like, you know what? Let's just leave. It's supposed to rain like for the next, potentially for the next like hour or so. You know, we usually like we stick it out, but just with today, like it's already being eight o'clock. It's just like we're gonna go do something else. We're gonna go hang out, maybe at one of the Polynesian or Grand Floridians, or decide what we're gonna do through the rest of the night. Yeah. Um, just to have a relaxed tonight because we were so busy today. On the live stream, and we're gonna make nachos. But we are making nachos tonight and big fancy baked nachos. We Look at how cool the water looks. Look at the like sun setting. It like is beautiful at the same time as it being ridiculous. I wish we were just going to eat right there yeah. for dinner right now. Alright, so we made it to the Grand Floridian. One, it is freezing in here. And two, show them what they had at the door. Fancy fancy had some fresh towels for us. Which is smart for them because now we're gonna there's less of a chance of us making a mess. Okay, so we're like getting set up. It looks like I went on a run. What the most magical way for us to be welcomed into the cold, rainy Grand Floridian? Then well, to Neil. First, first, the jazz band was playing Thomas O'Malley. True. Which is perfect. And then, and then Neil starts playing some Little Mermaid. I wonder if he's doing it because everyone's soaking wet. Hold on. Listen to how beautiful this sounds. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I never knew this was this. I love you. Oh, pulling on all the stops for the last song with her some rents. How do you know it's the last song? Because it's 8.56, he's done it at 9, because the band shows back up. All right, here's the moment of truth. We parked all the way back in Magic Kingdom, TTC parking. Is it still raining or not? Because we took down all of our rain gear. I'm so cold. It's warm outside though. Or musty and humid a little bit. Oh, it's not raining and it's warmer and we're good. We just have to make it all the way over there in the 325th row of the parking lot. Is it fireworks Yeah. Oh, is it? I hear something. Just over the Grand Floridian. I heard a family up there on the balcony watching. They're having a good time. We're having a good time. It's a good time to be alive. Who puts the glad and gladiator? Super target. We're here. We're ready. Mentally and physically and emotionally ready to get the nacho materials. Okay, literally, this is the coldest target in our entire life. Literally, I couldn't even go down the one aisle. I was like, Sarah, can you can you just go get it, please? But we're all about the self-checkout because we're from Chicago and we live downtown, so we did it ourselves all the time. It literally feels <laughs> and smells delicious. It smells like a there's steak, so many restaurants a over here. Grill. Yeah, I'm so excited for these. We got we spent less than twenty dollars at Target. We spent less than twenty dollars, and we got a treat of a sparkling rose. Grape juice. Fresh <laughs> grape juice. Right, we're setting the stage here. Raisins. We have our chips, our dishes. We're each having our own. We have chili beans, sour cream, refried beans. Um, de gallo, de gallo queso, sour cream, more. Chili. That's chili. The key to a good nacho is layering. Yep. Nobody wants This is going to be healthy. A whole bunch on top. And nothing on the bottom. Can opener. Ah, I got salt in my wound. Chili, bean, cheese, sour cream. Pico de Gallo. 
chips repeat. Oh my goodness. Two salad layers before they go in the oven. We're gonna tap them with the pico de gallo and the sour cream. But there it is. Guess what? We're going to concerts tomorrow. Yay! And I buy these tickets. Bought them a long time ago, so it's cool that the days are already here. But it is late. We just stayed home the rest of the night and watched, um, tried watching more Riverdale. And we did, oh, but someone. But we fall asleep so we easily. We fell asleep first. What? We fell asleep first. Yeah, but then I fell asleep for like five minutes and I got up <laughs> for more, ep like whole episodes, and you were asleep. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.